These are like right at the size where you're not sure if you should take a whole bite in one or if you, sh you should bite it in half. Hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Mumbai, India. Oh, good morning, Good morning. We have just checked out of our hotel and we ordered an Uber and we're on our way to the airport. But our flight is not out until later tonight. So we're gonna go to the airport. We're gonna try to check in our bag and then we are gonna go to the Juhu Beach area in Mumbai and hopefully hang out around that area for the day before we go back to the airport. We just made it to the airport, so now we're gonna see where we can leave our bag for the rest of the day. The baggage storage facility is in the parking lot of the arrivals area, and our baggage is stored for the next six hours. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay, have a great day. Yeah. That all went remarkably smooth and hassle-free. We are now in a mini minivan and on our way to go eat. The taxi just dropped us off very near to Mitibai College. And we're just gonna walk down the road a little bit to a street food stall that is famous for serving dosa. Can I have the uh, paneer tikka dosa? Thank you. This place is called Anand Stall and they are famous especially for sandwiches and dosas and I did not want to leave India without having a good dosa. I ordered the paneer tikka dosa and then they give you a little token. You pay at the front there and then you go over here to the dosa counter to pick it up. I will never get bored of watching someone make food on the street. In order to make this kind of modern version of a uh, dosa, what he did was he first spread out the batter onto the hot platter and he cooked the batter and then he added in the cubes of paneer cheese and then he added in a bunch of different sauces, that tikka sauce, some chili, he sprinkled on some, some seasoning, he added in a handful of dania, which is cilantro, and then I thought they were actually gonna keep it all wrapped up inside the dosa, but actually they scooped it onto a big plate and then they served the dosa, they wrapped it up and served it on the side along with some chutney. Oh, and it's crispy and soft at the same time. And go in for all of that beautiful, it's almost, yeah, it's prepared kind of like a curry. But I love how there's so many, so many greens in there. I think there's green onions in there as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks incredible. Wow. That is incredible. Wow. It's just packed full of flavor. You've got the crispy, sort of like spongy, but very thin, like almost like crepe like dosa. And then that curry. I cannot believe how quickly and how masterfully he whipped up that, that paneer tikka. I was expecting it to be good, but that is incredible. And then I will add some extra chutney to it. I think this is a coconut, coconut based chutney. Oh, that chutney. Oh yeah. It is coconut based. And then I can really taste the curry leaf in there as well as 
I think some coriander and some some cumin in there maybe some people order and then just stand around and eat but other people get their plate and they go sit in their car or they go stand somewhere down the sidewalk and eat you can eat anywhere around here you like what really makes a difference for me is the all of that those chopped up herbs within the, the curry and then of course the, the chutney Um, it kind of has a nutty taste to it too. Almost like cashew tasting in the curry as well. That was literally just everything I could possibly want in a dosa. And we are on our way to Juhu Beach. It is really, really windy. Check out Ying's hair. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I already have a new friend. <laughs> what is your name? gonna be able to hear me on the microphone I hope you can but we came to the beach there is so much going on again and I'm sure it's not nearly as busy as it gets later on in the day but lots of people here lots of um, action going on people are flying kites there are it's just a colorful display of people and clothes and things for sale and I came to the beach so I had to order a coconut Few things are greater at refreshing oneself than a fresh coconut. Oh, coconut water is delicious. It started raining pretty hard, so we came into the like food court, hawker stall, street food section, and there's just a ton of food in here. Walking around now, lots and lots of different chats and snacks to eat. I just gotta find the right place to eat now. a torrential downpour right now and the wind is just whipping through this alley of food stalls and actually it feels really good because it's so cool but it is kind of a chaotic environment and Pau Baji is one of the one of the ultimate Mumbai street food snacks available everywhere this will be my first time to try it in Mumbai so far I haven't had a chance yet but I'm glad it, it you can actually just smell the Pau Baji being cooked within these stalls, within the alleys. And I hope you can hear me over that music. So in order to make the pao bhaji, what they do is they take tomatoes and potatoes and a bunch of different spices, and then they cook it on a huge, giant, round, hot skillet. And it just slowly cooks, and they slowly like mash it down with all the spices. They mix it with butter, and then they just sort of store it on the side of the hot plate throughout the day. And then when it's ordered, they grab some of it and stick it into the middle of the hot plate, mix it with water, I think, and then make it into kind of a sauce, and then add lots of butter again. And then they take bread and add some butter to the bread, of course, and then fry it on the hot plate to crispify it. And then they serve it here. And this, you know, it's the combination of pao, which is a bun like this, and then the bhaji, which is this tomato 
potato puree with spices. Mm. You can feel the starchiness of the potato, but then it has a really nice like tartness from the tomato. And then it's a little bit spicy. You can taste that that like blend of cumin and turmeric in there as well. And then yeah, you can taste the butter in there quite well as well. I'm gonna take a piece of the bread next. Probably mix in with some of the onions. Oh, and that little blob of butter on the on the top there as well. That's a very buttery, fluffy roll. And then I really like it with the, with the onions because they're crisp and they give it that, that extra onion taste. Onions never hurt anything. I can see why this is so attractive. It is a nice combination. Thank you. Bombay Belpuri. Bombay Belpuri. Okay. The next snack I wanted to try here is Mumbai Belpuri. And this is a snack mixture. There are, I think it's puffy rice with a bunch of different crunchy things and he really stirred it up in a chutney and then he mixed it with, there is some cilantro, some dania, and then also some other little crispies in here. And this is another like, just, a, just like a, a mixture of different crispies and chutneys. They stuck a couple spoons in it. Oh yeah, and then also there's lots of onions in here as well. And you can see, I think, I think these are all little rice crispies and little crunchy bits. Mm. Chili sauce. Okay, yes. Chili sauce, chili sauce. On the side. Thank you. Oh, he just added on some extra chili sauce and some onions. And then for this one, I'm gonna take the lime and squeeze it all over. It's kind of sweet and savory and crispy. Yeah, it tastes like it tastes like Rice Krispies just mixed with all sorts of sweet and tangy and spicy and onions. Oh, oh and there's some potato potatoes in there on the bottom there too, I think. Mm. Oh yeah, with that hit, with that squeeze of lime. That's nice because it, because it contrasts that sweet, tangy sauce. These little spoons are kind of flimsy. This is a good beach snack. So I would really recommend that you try pao bhaji when you come to Juhu. There are many, many places to eat pao bhaji and there are lots and lots of food. The bel puri was awesome and the stall and the, the owner there was really nice. are heading to go try and find one more last chat, one snack before we head back to the airport. This will be the final, final snack. I gotta hope it's open. Okay, thank you. Luckily the stall is open, so one more last chat before we go to the airport. Hi, I come? Can I have chef puri? Chef puri, yeah, yes, yeah sure, sure. Thank you. Where are you from? China. Thailand. 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 Yes. So you are for travel or something? Maybe? Yes, travel to eat. Travel to eat. <laughs> <laughs> This stall is located on the corner of 6th Street, which is in the neighborhood just kind of back from Juhu Beach. And it's actually right 
just kind of in the neighborhood from where we ate that dosa a couple hours ago. But I'm so glad they're open. I really wanted to try their sev puri before leaving Mumbai. It's topped with so many ingredients, but under here there are little discs. And what he does, crispy discs. And what he does is he takes the discs, puts on some potatoes and some onions and a bunch of different chutneys and then sprinkles it with all these crispies and then what are these things? I'm not totally sure. And then some dania cilantro and chili. And so it's like a it's like a little disc of many toppings. And if I if I take out the first one, hopefully we can all see what is inside. Oh yeah, the cross section. There are onions in there and potatoes. This is one of my favorite chats. Mm. That potato is so creamy that it almost reminds me of guacamole. It's like avocado almost. You got a little bit of spice going on. It burns your throat a little bit going down and then you can taste the sweetness from the chutney. It's so well balanced and that is an awesome snack. It's like crunchy and juicy. I want to taste one of these little things. I'm not totally sure what that this is. I think that's mango. Mmm. Nice and sour and crisp. These are right at that size where they are almost too big to take a full bite. But then at the same time, you're just not sure if you want to bite it in half and risk collapsing the entire the entire snack bite. I'll go with the, the one bite. Those chutneys and then everything just collapses in your mouth. Okay, thank you. International domestic. International. Terminal 2. Huh? Terminal 2. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, thank you. Oh, it is a microphone. Oh. You see for, for wind, mm. for audio. Uh, my photo. Yes. <laughs> what is your name? Aminash. Aminash. Nice to meet you. I am so glad that we got to stop at that chat stall for our last bite to eat in Mumbai. That was stunning. That was it. That's one of my favorite chat chef puri and that was a great <laughs> great version of it. Oh, <laughs> uh, chef puri is so good. What up is famous. We're not racing to catch our flight, but we are sort of racing back to the airport because I want to avoid paying the next level fee for our baggage storage. So we're hoping to get back in time to grab our bags. Our driver just stopped and got out to use the restroom. So I'm hoping we'll still make it. Okay, for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, have a nice day. Nice to meet you. There's nothing quite like rolling up to an international airport in an auto rickshaw. We made it back to the luggage stand with literally three minutes to spare. If our auto rickshaw driver had spent three more minutes in the bathroom during his bathroom break in the middle of our ride, we would have missed that level and had to pay extra for our bag at the baggage drop. No, he was, <laughs> he was a really fun driver. He was a really nice guy. We got all checked into the airport and went through immigration and we are now sitting at the Air India lounge. We have about three hours until our flight even boards, but I wanted to come here early just to relax in the lounge and also I have a lot of work to do so I'm gonna sit here and, well, actually I'll probably go eat right now and see what they have for food. I'm gonna need a couple of cups of coffee and I sort of went with half salad Mediterranean food and half Indian food. I love chili paneer so I had to go for some chili paneer. Mm. Yeah. Chili paneer is one of the great dishes. I've definitely had a lack of salad in the last few days. 
so I'm ready to eat some salad. I got some email done and I could not resist going for another plate of food. They brought out some new dishes and I got mostly salad, but I could not resist a piece of lamb rogan josh, which is an amazing dish. Oh, that's like a big chunk of something. Oh, look how tender that lamb is. I'm gonna have to go, go back and get some more of that. Oh, that's amazing. Tender lamb. Tomatoey, just wonderful sauce. Oh, that's good. It has been an amazing trip to Mumbai and it's only been four days, but it's been a pretty action-packed four days. And I think we managed to do quite a bit and eat some incredibly delicious food. A special thank you to all of you for your recommendations for all the food to eat in Mumbai. Thank you very much. Ying is pretending to be asleep. <laughs> and this is gonna be about a three hour ride flight to Muscat, Oman. Dinner on the flight is served. I went for the Angara Murg Masala. Oh, and there's a chili on top here. How wonderful. For that chicken masala. You can taste the blend of masala spices. It's buttery, it's nutty, and it's creamy. Take a bite of the dal. Passengers with three book features are requested to kindly remain seated and will be assisted. Thank you. Bye, sir. Okay, we just landed in Muscat. It is 11.30 p.m. at night, and they said it's 39 degrees. Oh, you can feel that oven heat. Thank you, Air India, for the good flight, and Star Alliance. We're just now waiting for our bag, and then we're gonna catch a taxi to our hotel. City Seasons Hotel. Okay, City Center Hotel? Hotel, yes, yeah, City Seasons Hotel. Ah, City Seasons Hotel. Thank you. Hi, Hello. Taxi was pretty expensive. We are definitely in a different country now. Just a very quick tour of the room. This is the bathroom. Nice and spacious. And then this is the main room here. Blue and desert themed. I'm excited to be in Muscat, Oman. This is my very first trip visit to Oman but I'm about to go to sleep now. It's been a long day. I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna end the video for today now. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And I will see you on the next video for our first full day in Muscat, Oman. I think that's a big chunk of cauliflower. Oh. Oh, a tomato just went flying onto my lap. That's why, that's why they have napkins.